I've been thinking about doing a show in the Fringe Fest, just me, where I rant about film. Maybe show clips. Cool idea. But I don't know. Getting up there in front of all those people, I mean, so much could go wrong. I'm not sure I've got what it takes to... Hmm. Do you hear hissing? I, I hear hissing. Yeah. Sean! Holy shit! Hey, guys. Hang on. We'll get help. What? I'm fine. You're like 30 meters up! That's right. No one's gonna paint over this tag. Unless they're crazy. See ya! Whoa! So long, suckers! Man, I wish I had even a tenth of what he's got. His skill with the spray can? No, his guts! Whoa. Hey, watch out! Sean up there, it made me kind of jealous. How's that? Well, he obviously doesn't have to overthink stuff. He wants to tag things, so he tags things. Five stories up. I mean, where does a guy get the balls? Or how can a guy be so stupid? One slip and he's dead. But be a drag if that's all having guts is, not knowing any better. I mean, you work with bands. Some of those guys must get pretty hinky before a show, right? Yeah. It takes guts to get up and perform for a crowd. But some rockers... I don't know if it's extra guts, or they're just a little crazy. Like Jimi Hendrix, the guy soaks his axe in lighter fluid. Already you could get electrocuted doing that. Then he lights it and plays it. Or how about Eddie Vedder climbing the light grids, dangling over the crowd? And the first guy to throw himself backwards in the crowd, hoping the crowd would catch him? Gutty or nutty? You want to talk adrenaline junkies? How about roof jumpers? They're not doing a show, they just risk their lives. For kicks. Those guys were fearless. Or were they being complete yahoos as a way to hide their fear? I think it's weird? No, a lot of people freak out at the thought of doing their thing in front of a crowd. Yeah, but why? I've been wondering why I can't just do stuff. Why I have to overthink. Why I don't just dive in. And dance like no one's watching? No, I like dancing. What, why? People watch me dance? Oh, great. Sorry, go on. So I asked myself, where do people get the guts? Like in those great movie scenes where people do stuff that makes you go, ooh, that took guts. Like why'd Chief Brody get on that boat in Jaws? Or De Niro in Deer Hunter? One bullet, two bullet, three bullets. Then I realized they did that stuff because they had to. But what about the Project Grizzly guy? Got mauled by a grizzly once. Wants to get his revenge, took it out with a big bugger in a bear-proof suit. Natch. He's got to test it out first, right? I mean, talk about guts out the wazoo. But wearing that suit, he's kind of removed all the challenge. I suppose. Might as well be sitting in a Hummer. Now that you mention it. Hey, about your stage fright. Whoa, I prefer to call it performance anxiety. Okay, anyway, I've been thinking about stuff that looks like it takes guts, like those jackass guys. Jackass. Righteous lunacy. Some of the stunts they did, they had to know they were going to get creamed. That was almost the point of doing what they did, to get creamed. That takes guts. Or does it? Maybe those guys just aren't afraid of pain. So, if they're not afraid of pain, then why would they worry about getting hurt? Interesting. Like boarders. They know they're going to crash before they can fly. They know they're going to get banged up, break a few bones, spit some teeth. And they're okay with that? Just watch. Wild. See, I'd never have the guts to do that. Because you don't know the first thing about riding a skateboard. So what's your point here? The gutsy part isn't so much that they do all this wild stuff. It's that it took guts for them to overcome their fear of the unknown. 
to push their limits. Huh. So maybe the more you learn about something... The less I'll fear it. Right. Either that, or I'll be even more freaked out. Life's a gamble, my friend. All the gutsy examples you mentioned, climbing bridges, roof jumping, wrestling bears, those are all big, dangerous things. Isn't that what having guts is all about? But your quandary is you're not sure you can get up on stage and talk. Uh, yeah. Where's the danger there, that someone's gonna get so bored they run up on stage and strangle you? No. So what are you afraid of? I guess I'm afraid I'll make a fool of myself. Aha! Aha! You're afraid of exposing yourself. I wasn't gonna do the show naked. You know what I mean. You'd be putting your essential you up there, and that takes guts. What's the T.S. Eliot line? Do I dare eat a peach? What's the big deal with peaches? Oh, were, they, were they thought to be poisonous back then? I think he was asking if he had the courage to embrace life, to go for it. Because it takes guts to live life the way you want to. It takes guts to follow a dream, to be different, to be yourself. Cool. And you know what really took guts? Fat Lip's video, What's Up Fat Lip? A rapper in a clown nose. That took cojones. So, you're gonna give the Fringe Fest a try? I'm nervous, but... If you're afraid to show people the real you, then maybe you're not embracing the real you. That's one way to look at it. Hey, guys. Sean, what happened to you? Ah, uh, I fell off the fire escape. No biggie. Happens all the time. Hey, Slate, I hear you might be doing a fringe show. Yeah, I am. Solid, man. I never have the balls to try that. <laughs> <laughs> what? What I'd say? <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> it's because I'm a midget, isn't it? Midgets are supposed to be in show business. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road while squirrel you. This midget doesn't wear tights. You know, that would make a good fringe show. Huh? <laughs> you might have something there. <laughs>